it is Autism Awareness Month and a growing number of local police departments are investing in autism training. It's become a priority in recent years, helping remove a barrier with a group of people who can respond differently in unfamiliar situations. So tonight, Delhi Police held an event to connect officers with kids and adults who are autistic. WLWT News 5 to Tara McKee was there and joins us now with more on this new effort. Hi yeah, there. Really important stuff here, Cherie. So many of you might remember that just last year, this little boy was found wandering in Coleraine Township all by himself. He'd been abandoned by his mother and was nonverbal, so he had no way of telling people and communicating what happened to him. That's one example of why police officers need to be trained to know how to help anyone who needs it. We can pick up on these things almost instantly. Tonight in Delhi, a chance for police officers to connect with families impacted by autism. We don't know going into a situation that there's a child with autism or something like that. And the behaviors you might think that the individual's acting up or something when that's that's just them. Jennifer Folks brought her 10 year old son Nolan. He doesn't speak um, and that's one of my worst fears is him getting lost and somebody finding him and not knowing where he's supposed to go. They've been in situations before with first responders who weren't properly trained. And the EMTs that came had, they weren't familiar with how to respond to a kid like Nolan. And um, he freaked out in the ambulance and it was, it was awful. She says events like Monday's open house can make Nolan's life a little easier. Building like rapport with the families in our community and trying to be kind of proactive um, to engage with them and have that interaction before we're needed. Kaylee Vickers is Del High's community advocate. She was hired just over a year ago and focuses on helping connect community members with resources in areas like mental health. She planned this event to prompt conversation and encourage families to sign up for the BOLO program. It's designed for people prone to wandering or getting lost. Each profile has a photo and details that can help in an emergency. It helps our officers know places where they might wander to, know specific things about them, things that they like, things that they don't like, things that might be triggers. A Delhi officer just recently found a nonverbal child walking in traffic and had the training to know what to do. It's just a much better significant chance that we can get reunited with their loved ones. Now events like tonight's are just a small part of what Kaylee Vickers does in her role. She helps community members with things like mental health, domestic violence and a lot more. In fact, in 2022, she had more than 900 contacts with community members. The chief says she is more than worth the investment. Jatara McGee, WNWT News 5. Yeah, Jatara, you can certainly see why. Thanks so much.